Hello everybody, welcome to Wine World TV, the best wine show anywhere. I'm your host, Mark Fusco. Before we get started, make sure you're smashing that like button and subscribing to the channel. Every like and subscription really helps build the channel. You know what's even better? Tell your friends about it. Tell them all about the best wine show anywhere. All right, welcome to my series of reviews of wines from Dome Bousquet. I've reviewed several of their wines over the past few years. If this is your first time seeing any of my reviews of their wines, please check out the first video of this series about the Sauvignon Blanc. I cover the background of the winery and the region in that video, or that episode. Now let's get into the stats of this wine. The 2019 Domaine Bousquet Reserve Chardonnay. Suggested retail price is $18. It is from the Walteade Valley, Tupangato, Uco Valley, Mendoza, Argentina. 100% Chardonnay. It is a certified organic vineyard. The wine is made with organic grapes. It is hand harvested. The elevation is 1200 meters or 3900 feet. The soil is gravel and sand. It is aged on leaves for six months in oak and the alcohol is 14.5%. The total acidity is 5.4 grams per liter. The pH is 3.3 and the residual sugar is 1.6 grams per liter. So let me explain the, it's a certified organic vineyard, but made with organic grapes. So I made sure to, to put that in there in the stats. I have on my Freestyle Friday stuff, man, I don't know if it's happening after this video comes out or when this video comes out, but I'm doing a whole series on farming practices and the wines that come from that. Very likely the organic one hasn't happened yet when you're watching this. So, just a real upshot. There's in the United States, there's different levels of organic. Made with organic grapes still means that the grapes have to be 100% organic. However, something in the winery, enough of the process of making the wine in the winery wasn't considered organic. Uh, it's, it's still an organic wine, just so we're, we're clear as to what made with organic grapes means, okay? Anyway, and I don't remember, does this have the USDA? It doesn't have the USDA uh, thing. It's not required to have it, but um, it, has other, it has other certifications as far as the organicness of the wine. So it's organic for, for all intents and purposes, organic wine. All right, so let's just get into the wine. Definitely check out that series of farming stuff. I put a lot of effort into that series and I'm really excited to do it. I actually learned a lot from that with conventional farming, organic bio, also um, getting into some sustainability, other certifications that happen like live, salmon safe, all that kind of stuff. So really interesting things and it's all about to kind of demystify, kind of talk about some of the mis you know, misconceptions maybe with these types of farming practices and the, how they make the wines and you know, what the reality is on that. All right, let's check it out. So we got a you know, medium, obviously medium plus color, yellow, somewhat gold, touch of green to it. It's almost like a fluorescent to it, like a um, electric yellow to it. Not quite like Mountain Dew, like that electric green yellow, not quite like that, but there's there's a fluorescence to it. I don't need black light. That'd be kind of cool to see if like wine fluoresces just in general. All right, um, yeah, check it out. So we'll call it medium minus on the intensity. Uh, it's youthful. We get some really uh, golden apple on this. There's a little bit of orange, white flowers. Just gonna look at some stats real quick. Yeah, six months in oak. Yeah, you know it tells what kind of oak and how how whether it's new oak or not. I mean, 
the one, the, I mean, the price is what, 18 bucks. I, I know it's inexpensive to make wine in Argentina and all that, but I don't think this is going to be, um, really a lot of new oak. There might be like a touch of new oak to this, but I mean, I get a little bit of vanilla, a little bit of baking spice. It's like really slight. It's like, it's like a little bit of like seasoning on there. Who's that guy that does the thing, right? Like tch, 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 oak. A little bit of corn, popcorn thing going on. Like this is unmistakably Chardonnay when you, when you smell it. It's not highly aromatic, but it's aromatic enough. It's all on the palate. The apples are the golden apples. It's, it's actually a little more ripe and fresh in nature. On, on the nose, it was there, but it wasn't like really screaming ripe or tart. We have a ripeness to it. The golden apple, you get orange, you get peach, you get white flowers. Got the, the popcorn is kind of there. It's not really prominent. You're getting those baking spices, vanilla, not over the top, but you kind of have this like creamsicle thing going on. Uh, that's probably from the Lee's aging. There's a bit of um, uh, mouthfeel going on here. There's probably a little mallow going on too, but the Lee's aging, you're giving that. I don't really get the aromas and flavors of Lee's, but it's more, prov it's more providing, say, a mouthfeel. There's a broadness to it. There's this kind of, um, there's a little bit of like green apple candy, like the like the little hard candies, a little bit of that going on. A little bit of caramel. Yeah, now it's really coming through. Got kind of like that candy corn, caramel corn, or caramel apple, bobbing for apples on this. Not quite Halloween yet, I think, on this episode. It's one of the first groups of episodes I'm doing. So I think this is still like early October or late September. But yeah, it's tasty. If you like this style of Chardonnay, I like the Chardonnay. I think it's well made. I think Bousquet it hits it out of the park every single wine they've had. Every wine I've had from Bousquet over the years has always been really well made. And it's always been really good value. So, I mean... $18, the packaging looks more expensive. This looks like a $30 bottle of wine. And I would say, I would say if you were putting this up against, say, California Chardonnays in that $20 to $30-ish dollar bottle, I would say it matches that. Um, but there's also a wide range of, like, Chardonnay, there's a lot, of, like, Chardonnay in California. I also think $18, like, $18 bottles of Chardonnay uh, that are just California there's enough of them that kind of punch above their weight. But when you get the 20, 25, 30, 35, I think this is in that league. I think it's in that league of flavor and aromas and mouthfeel and just quality winemaking. Don't sleep on these guys. I think the more I taste it, the more it's developing. It's, it's really punching above its weight compared to wines from the United States. I think it's excellent wine for what it is. I do like it. There's other Chardonnays I've already tasted that you'll see in future episodes that I like better because it's more my style, but I'm absolutely going to enjoy this at some point in time in the future. I'm going to enjoy this wine, uh, probably with dinner of some sort, but there's a richness to this. So you need something that will pair well with, with, the, with the wine. It's good. All right. So uh, that's going to do it for the show. Uh, also, wanna, I want to thank my good friends at Creative Palette, Kate and Jane, for supplying all these wines from Bousquet and their continued support of the show. Uh, if you enjoy what I'm doing here, make sure you hit the like and subscribe. Hit the like button and subscribe. And until then, until next time. Until then, whatever. Tell your friends, and until next time, drink some Bousquet Chardonnay. <laughs> <laughs>